Astronomers have taken the first ever images of planets outside of our solar system. One is an infrared picture of a multiple planet system, and another is a visible light snapshot of a single planet system. Until now, scientists have had to infer the presence of planets around other stars by detecting the unseen world's gravitational pull on the star, or by waiting for the planet to cross in front of its star and then detect a dip in the star's light. These techniques have to date identified more than 300 extrasolar planets, but until now astronomers have struggled to actually directly photograph such inferred planets. The new planetary systems were found around young bright stars much more massive than our own Sun and amidst large disks of dust, the raw material of worlds. The four photographed exoplanets are discussed in two research papers published online by the journal Science. Christian Marois of the NRC Hertzberg Institute of Astrophysics in Canada and his colleagues used the Gemini North Telescope and the WM Keck Observatory on Hawaii's Mauna Kea to obtain infrared images of a multi-planet system. Infrared radiation represents heat and along with radio waves, visible light and x-rays is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This new trio of worlds orbits a star named HR 8799, which is about 130 light years away from Earth and located in the constellation Pegasus. The star is about one and a half times as massive as our Sun. The planet closest to HR 8799 is ten times the mass of Jupiter, followed by another almost as large and, farther out, a world seven times that of Jupiter, our solar system's largest planet. The planets reside at roughly 25, 40, and 70 astronomical units away from its star. One AU astronomical unit is the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. By comparison, our solar system's most distant planet, Neptune, has an average distance of 30 AU. These planets are considered by astronomers to be very young, only about 60 million years old. That means that the orbs are still glowing with heat left over from their formation. Earth, by comparison, is about 4.5 billion years old. The most distant planet in this multi-planet system orbits just inside a disk of dusty debris, similar to our solar system's Kuiper belt, remnants of the formation of our solar system which lie just beyond the orbit of Neptune. Earth-like worlds might also exist in this three-planet system, but if so, they are too dim to photograph. The setup of this planetary system along with its dusty belt suggests it could be a larger version of our solar system, and that other planets, even one like our Earth, could be found closer into the star, just waiting to be discovered. In pictures released in Science Express, the online version of the journal, the planets appear as fuzzy dots that move around slightly around their star from one exposure to the next. They orbit their star in periods of 450, 180 and 100 years respectively and all counterclockwise. NASA scientist Mark S. Marley told the New York Times, I think Kepler himself would recognize these planets as orbiting a star following his laws of orbital motion. Paul Callas of the University of California Berkeley and his colleagues using the Hubble Space Telescope discovered and took photos of another planet orbiting the distant star Fomalhaut. The exoplanet has been named Fomalhaut b and is estimated to weigh about three times that of our largest planet, Jupiter. The Hubble Space Telescope's advanced camera for surveys was used to make the image. The camera is equipped with a coronagraph that blocks out the light of the star, allowing astronomers to view the much fainter planet. Fomalhaut b is one billion times fainter than its star. It lies at a distance from its star that is about four times Neptune's average distance, or 120 AU. The star itself, Fomalhaut, is visible without the aid of a telescope. It's the 18th brightest star in the sky. 
It has been a candidate for planet hunting ever since an excess of dust was discovered around it in the early 1980s by NASA. FOMO hot is much hotter than our sun and about 16 times as bright. But it is quite close in astronomical terms, only about 25 light years from Earth and located in the constellation Pisces Australis, or the Southern Fish. The planet orbits its star every 872 years at a distance of 11 billion miles. It may have formed at its location in a primordial circumstellar disk by sweeping up remaining gas from the formation of its star, or it may have migrated outward through a game of gravitational billiards where it exchanged momentums with smaller planetary bodies. Scientists believe that the planets Uranus and Neptune in our solar system migrated out to their distant orbits after forming a little closer to the Sun and then interacting gravitationally with smaller bodies. Earlier Hubble images of the star and its system revealed the dusty belt that had a sharp inner edge around the star. This suggested to the scientists that there was a planet shaping the belt's inner edge. Astronomers think the planet could be surrounded by a ring system with the dimensions of Jupiter's early rings before the dust and debris coalesced into its four Galilean moons. Fomalhaut is also a young star, about 200 million years old. Fomalhaut is the closest exoplanet yet discovered, and scientists have said that it is even close enough to contemplate sending spacecraft there one day. The newly discovered planet, which all lie very distant from their host star, could challenge the leading model of how gas giant planets form. Many astronomers believe that gas giants coalesce through core accretion, in which dust particles slowly stick together to become rocky chunks called planetesimals. These chunks collide to build a massive solid core before attracting an outer layer of gas, a process that takes millions of years. But very far from a star, matter in the disk thins out and takes longer to orbit. This might mean that distant planets do not have enough time to form a core before the star's radiation blasts away the surrounding gas. The newly discovered three-planet system, with its planets so far from their star and so large, has made some scientists consider a different idea of how giant gas planets may form, called disk instability. In this theory, gravitational instabilities in the dense disk of debris surrounding the star can cause knots of matter to collapse rapidly, forming planets in thousands rather than millions of years. Both of the new planetary systems revealing their dusty disks and large planets appear to be larger versions of our own solar system, with giant planets in the outer reaches leaving plenty of room for smaller planets as yet undetected in the warmer inner regions. This region is called the habitable zone, where rocky planets are thought to form in solar systems, and where liquid water could also be found, and by extension, possibly life. Astronomers hope that someday they will be able to detect and photograph Earth-like planets. The problem is that terrestrial or Earth-like planets are so much fainter than the giant Jupiter-like worlds, and they are much closer to their stars. That means the glare from the star overwhelms today's imaging technology. If discovered, smaller rocky planets that orbit within their star's habitable zones where temperatures would allow the existence of liquid water could be a major discovery. The new James Webb Space Telescope, due to be launched in 2013, hopes to give astronomers clearer views of the regions that Earth-like planets that could host liquid water and even life could be detected. For more podcasts on space science topics and other science topics, visit www.challenger.org. This is Rita Carl, Director of Education for Challenger Center for Space Science Education, signing off.